Okay, finally got the UV printer back up and running again. And uh, this is what I was able to do with white and black. So here's the base. Uh, it's 3D printed carbon fiber pet G. It's blue. Um, it's freaking gorgeous. I love this blue. Uh, now I wanted to do a lot of different tests to see what the UV printer could print on and what the uh, side effects of that are. So over here we've got square pockets. Um, well I guess these are rectangular pockets, these are square pockets, these are cylindrical pockets. Then we have gradient hexagonal pockets along with a varied chamfer and then on this side a varied round over. Um, so yeah, it looks like everything looks pretty evenly coated. Uh, on the shallow end, these start at 0.5 millimeters and go up a half a millimeter in diameter. Um, it's not until about the one, one and a half millimeters diameter that it starts to miss. Um, so these vertical walls you can see are still the blue, but the bottom pockets actually even up to nine millimeters deep are still very nicely coated. Um, so again, we're missing the vertical walls and you can see that over here on these rectangular um, pockets, the vertical walls are just completely missed. But all the way down, whoops, all the way down, the pockets are properly coated and they still manage to line up very well. There's very little discrepancy. Um, so overall, I'm actually quite impressed that this thing is still accurate even to these 9mm deep hexagonal pockets. And uh, yeah, this should give you a nice good representation of what the UV printer can print on and what kind of surface deviations you can look for. Um, I will note that you can still see these layer lines, um, but they are so much smoother to the touch. Like, this almost feels like it's been ironed or, you know, like, clear coated, uh, which totally makes sense because it's putting the UV resin on there, but it's a, it's a very nice texture. And for FDM prints, I think I'm going to explore this a lot further.